Hello everyone, today we're in Chorlton, Manchester and I want to show you a grill restaurant on Barlowmore Road called Off The Grid. According to their website, this place supposedly cooks all of their food using wood fire and smoke. I'm intrigued so let's have a look. I really like the decor. All of the tables are quite close together and there's a kitchen at the far end of the restaurant. I'm already thinking that this would make a great spot for a date. Looking at the menu, I can see they have a selection of mainly beer and wine. I'm going for the Fila's House, which is a Portuguese wine and I'm ordering a 500ml carafe. The food menu looks nice and simple, with an assortment of small plates that makes me think this place is more like a tapas restaurant. We'll see. To start, I'll order the Padron Peppers at £5. The patatas bravas at £4.50, pork belly burnt ends at £7, frito misto calamari at £7, and finally a flat iron steak with chimichurri and a side of aubergine parmigiana for £15. Now all I need to do is wait. First up is the wine. Wow, there looks a lot in this carafe. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Hmm, I'm no wine expert, but I think it has a good aroma and it tastes okay. It's the kind of wine that tastes better the more you drink. I'm already wanting more. Okay, the dishes have started to arrive and just look at how green the padron peppers are. It all looks so inviting. The patatas bravas looks great too. They seem to give reasonable portions for the price. I'm happy so far. Wow, pork belly burnt ends look really good. The sauce is so shiny. Mm. But out of these dishes so far, the padron peppers have me intrigued the most. Let's try. First thing I can taste is the smokiness of the peppers. They're not at all spicy, but they're soft and a little bit salty. Delicious. I can already tell that the patatas bravas are hot and crispy. I can't wait to try them with the bravas and aioli sauce. Oh yeah, they're crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside just as you'd expect. The sauce is perfect, I love it. Onto the pork belly burnt ends. I have to say that as I cut through them, something seems a little odd. They're a bit tougher than you'd expect. No matter though, it still looks good. Oh, it tastes okay, but my biggest problem is that it's cold. It's not been heated up at all. A little disappointing, but luckily it has a good flavour. Here's the calamari. It smells amazing, and as you can probably tell from the video, it's got a nice thin and crispy batter. Yum. It's delicious. The batter's light, and the calamari has a nice texture and flavour. The lemon and the tartar are the perfect addition. The best thing about tapas is that you can eat it however you like. I found that if you mix everything up, it still tastes great. Oh, here comes the steak. Wow, it smells super smoky and delicious. My mouth's watering already. They've cooked this medium rare and it comes with a small salad and chimichurri sauce. No sign of my aubergine parmigiano though. Oops. Three second rule, that's fine. Oh wow, it tastes so smoky. It's tender, it's juicy and it's full of flavour. 
The chimichurri sauce doesn't really have that much flavor if I'm honest, and I wish the steak had a touch more seasoning. Having said that, I'm really happy and would recommend that you try this. Out of all the foods so far, I have to say that the Padron peppers are my favourite. I can't stop eating them. One or two were a little bit salty, but I honestly didn't mind. They're just so tasty. The service is good and the staff are attentive, but they forgot about my side of aubergine parmigiano so I had to wait a little longer. It has a really good savoury flavour from the aubergine and the melted cheese adds a little bit of texture to the dish. I like it, but I wish it had come earlier with everything else. I'm starting to get a bit full. I'm really enjoying myself this evening. The food is good, the staff are friendly, and the wine, yeah, the wine's going down quite nicely. Again, I'm amazed at the Padron peppers. There were just over 30 of these. At £5, these would definitely value for money. I'm feeling happy and would like some dessert to finish the evening. I'm going to go for the churros at £5 and two scoops of ice cream, vanilla and salted caramel at £3. Hmm, this salted caramel looks suspiciously like chocolate. I'm intrigued. Okay, the ice cream is smooth and creamy and obviously very cold. This is definitely chocolate, but no matter, I'm happy with the price. Whatever you do end up getting, for £3 you get a good amount. And the churros? Well, let's see. Mmm, the chocolate is sweet and bitter at the same time. The churros itself is crispy and chewy. I wouldn't say it's anything amazing, but it's an enjoyable way to end the evening. They don't serve hot drinks, which is a shame. I would have liked to have had some with my dessert, but I'm happy to have some of their free water. I feel like I'm really full and I've had too much to drink so now it's time for the bill. I'm almost too scared to look but actually it's not that bad. At £62.50 I'm quite happy. The only thing I've noticed is that for the steak they charge me extra. The steak should come with one free side but when I chose the aubergine they added £3 more. I'm guessing just the chips are included in the price. Hmm. Never mind. Anyway I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.